All right, so you want to learn how to play Yosuke. If you're looking for a character to satisfy your creative side, then you're definitely in the right place. Major shout outs to Dara who recorded the footage for this tutorial. They are an amazing Yosuke player who you can find in the Persona Fight Club Discord. A fantastic community over there that also has tons of resources for learning characters further. Of particular note is an all-encompassing Yosuke text guide by another spectacular Yosuke player by the name of Psyche. So don't be shy, come hop in and check us out. If you have any questions, the community will be there to support you 100%. Yosuke plays a bit differently to the rest of the cast in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, but once you get a hang of it, you can be an absolute demon with this character. He is quite literally the fastest character in the game. And you can feel that the moment that you pick him up in training mode and you get a sense of how high he jumps, how quickly he covers ground, and how overwhelming his pressure can feel. Yosuke does a whole lot of flippy nonsense, but on the same token, he can confirm a lot of random hits that you may get. He is able to inflict status conditions such as poison and confusion, which are among the better status conditions that you can inflict in the game. Yosuke also happens to have one of the best furious actions in the game, being that his is actually a counter move. And finally, Yosuke has access to the super move Tsukukaja when he's in his awakened state, and let's just say it makes him three times as good, but we'll get into that later. Simultaneously, his greatest strength in Tsukukaja is his greatest flaw, because whereas the shadow versions of characters have access to all of their super moves from the start of the fight, Yosuke can only use his best super move when his health drops below a certain threshold. And without immediate access to the super, a lot of Yosuke's highest damage combo extenders and some of his best setups actually cannot be performed. Thus, the shadow version of Yosuke is the far superior pick. But of course, you can't just jump into using shadow characters without mastering the fundamentals. Besides that, there is a bit of a steeper learning curve to Yosuke's combos, Due to other characters having various hitbox sizes and things like that, so you may have to adjust the timing of specific combos or even go to a different route entirely depending on who the opponent is. For some matchups this can create an unfavorable situation because you may not be able to get the hard knockdown that you need to continue your pressure. Yosuke also is not the best at combating zoning. He's not terrible by any means because he does have a few full screen options but they're a bit tricky and sort of gimmicky in a way. Yosuke has a way to exert pressure from full screen or nearly full screen with his 5D persona attack, but he also has three persona cards total. So you're putting yourself at immediate risk of not having access to your persona. And as we all know, if you do not have access to your persona in this video game, then you are at a major disadvantage. So all in all, you want to be playing with a shadow version of Yosuke because of the benefits that it provides. So to start out, let's lay down a good solid foundation of basics, and then we can move on to that at a later time. Feel me? We will be using numpad notation to explain the moves and combos, but if you do not understand numpad notation, then you can check out this breakdown. As always, for a deeper dive on specifics like frame data and things of that nature, you can check out dustloop.com. So. Yosuke's 5A and 2A are fittingly very fast, light moves. These will be your main tools in conditioning the opponent to block, almost endlessly. The auto combo on block is relatively safe and you get a few options on the third hit. 5B will be one of your primary ways to confirm hits as well as another tool in your arsenal to get the opponent to get stuck in block pressure. 2B, very good anti-air, you want to make sure that you are using it to its max effectiveness whenever the opponent tries to jump in at you. Yosuke's jumping attacks are pretty standard as far as jumping attacks go, but it is worth mentioning that the jump AB command is a pretty cool move that actually changes your jump arc when you use it. Yosuke's sweep has pretty great range and it can also low profile not only high hitting projectiles but also high hitting physical attacks. 5C and 2C have good range, but you typically don't want to throw out Persona moves in neutral because as we mentioned before, you don't want to lose those precious Persona cards. Yosuke's D attack is a far hitting move that can connect from nearly full screen, but the ground version is very slow so you pretty much want to exclusively use the air version and you want to minimize the landing animation by using it as close to the ground as possible. 
the best way to do this while playing neutral is to do a instant air dash backwards and try to get the perfect timing to get it close to the ground. Jumping C is an awesome tool because it is a multi-hitting attack that goes on infinitely until Yosuke touches the ground. It is also very safe, so it's very good to use this to get in and open the opponent up. Yosuke's throw inflicts poison, which is very useful, but you can also get pretty big damage by either one more cancelling or cancelling into Tsukukaja. Now, Yosuke's furious action. I'm just going to leave it as, this move is amazing, you want to be using this move, but of course you do not want to be abusing this move. Yosuke takes a bit of recoverable damage to his health bar, and for a few active frames, if the opponent touches you with any attack, it executes the counter-attack animation. If the opponent gets hit by the counter-attack, then they get put in a hard knockdown state, and you have all the advantage in the world. A neat little advantage trick that the better Yosuke players do, by the way. When you're very close to awakening as normal Yosuke, you can actually use this move like full screen and that little bit of damage that you take can get you into the awakening state. And now for the special moves. Yosuke's only projectile are his kunais, which can be executed by jumping and pressing down in A or B. Yosuke throws the kunais at different angles depending on whether you use the A or B version and you'll typically be using the metered version exclusively in combos as an extender. Worth noting is the enhanced version inflicts poison. Mirage Slash is the quintessential Yosuke move. You want to get very familiar with catching the opponent from any falling distance in a combo with this attack. Ending combos with Mirage Slash is what enables you to get hard knockdowns on the opponent, which gives you advantage. Throwing this move in with the rest of Yosuke's shenanigans in neutral can also get you a fatal counter hit if you hit the opponent while they try to attack or anti-air you when you're jumping in. The D version is a feint which you can use to further confuse the opponent with Yosuke shenanigans. Again, some of your best combo opportunities to kill the opponent will come from Mirage slash counter hits. Quarter circle forward or back C or D is flying flash cut. This is mainly a combo tool, you don't really want to just throw this out for no reason. Quarter circle forward or quarter circle back in A or B in the air gives you the moonsault. This move puts Yosuke into an animation that quickly stops all of his jumping momentum. Once you begin the flip, you can use A or B to execute the Crescent Slash. And a cool trick is that after the first Crescent Slash, you can use just forward or backwards A, B, C, or D to execute another Moonsault or Flying Flash Cut without having to input the entire command. This makes performing a few combos much easier. Quarter Circle Forward C or D inflicts confusion. It is an unblockable attack, but most people aren't going to get hit by this because it's very reactable since it takes so long to start up. There are specific uses for this as a combo tool and in certain setups, but they're a bit more advanced so we really won't focus too much on it for this guide. Quarter Circle Forward A or B gives you Dash Spring, which is primarily a combo tool as well. The B version switches sides while the A version keeps you in front of the opponent. The enhanced version has a bit of invincibility so you can pass through certain attacks with very good timing. After you bounce off the opponent, this is another one of Yosuke's moves that allows you to shortcut the command for flying flash cut and moonsault simply by pressing forward or backward and A, B, C or D. As for the supers, Yosuke's first super is Garudine. It's pretty standard, invincible startup. If you're going for the kill, use it. If not, save the SP. The star of the show is Tsukukaja, and this is by far one of the best supers in the game. It is an install super. For those of you that don't know what that is, typically in anime fighting games you have certain characters that have super moves that essentially just buff them and make them way better characters. Oftentimes, there's a drawback to using these moves, but for Yosuke, he just becomes infinitely better. He goes from being the fastest character in the game to being faster than the fastest character in the game. A lot of his attacks gain special properties ranging from reduced startup to reduced recovery, just better frame data overall, and you can also start to dash cancel out of a lot of his basic attacks, even if the opponent blocks them. Of course, this isn't a limitless enhancement. There is a timer, and Tsukukaja ends when it runs out. Yosuke also gains an extra super that you can execute with a double quarter circled back C or D while you are in the Tsukukaja state. And it is mainly a combo tool, but it has some other uses as well. 
Now for the combos, we're going to go at it with a bit of a different approach. Yosuke is a bit of a wild character, and he can confirm off of a lot of random hits. So, the main prerogative when we approach combos for Yosuke is that we want to pretty much end all combos with a hard knockdown. And like I mentioned before, the best way of ending a combo in a hard knockdown is with Mirage Slash. Now how do we set that up? Flying V-Cut pretty much always goes into Mirage Slash. So if we could get a Flying V-Cut into a combo, then we could get a Mirage Slash to hit the falling opponent. Here's the catch. Certain heights require you to time the Mirage Slash differently as well as certain character it's hitboxes. So in order to be good with Yosuke, you're going to have to pretty much learn every permutation of his combos. Which is no easy task, but hopefully I can get you off to a good start. So the easiest combo. Auto combo into flying v-cut into mirage slash. This is a good starter combo not just because it's easy, but because you can grasp a fundamental to Yosuke's combos. The game's systems are very generous in that you can execute the next command in the combo chain and it will oftentimes actually perform the move at the first available opportunity. So here I'm inputting that quarter circle forward C input for flash cut as soon as I finish that third hit of the auto combo. And the game waits to cancel the flying flash cut off of the first available frame in the animation. So you don't have to be super precise, the game will give you a lot of leeway. Now of course you probably won't use an auto combo starter outside of punishing something that is quickly recoverable. So let's look at how to confirm other types of hits. Pretty much any grounded hit can be confirmed into a sweep. Once you get that sweep off, then you immediately go into the dash spring, the B version, so you go to the other side of the opponent. And remember, we can shortcut instead of doing the full command with the quarter circle forward in the air for flying flash cut, you can simply press 4C to do a flash cut backwards, and then you can catch the opponent with the 2C. I want you to pay specific attention to how easy it is to catch the opponent with the Mirage Slash while they're falling from the flying flash cut after the sweep and dash spring. Because catching the opponent with the Mirage Slash with this next set of combos that I'm about to give you might be a little tough at first. Confirming a 5B into 5C and 2C into the finisher with dash spring, flying flash cut, and Mirage Slash is equally as easy but you may notice that if you add some beginning hits onto that combo it gets a bit harder and the opponent may just pop out of the mirage slash entirely and you won't hit the key is to delay the flying flash cut after the dash spring just a little bit so that you can convert the mirage slash on the fall down and of course if there are too many hits preceding the dash spring for some characters, their hitboxes are a little bit too wonky and you have to change up the combo entirely, in which case you lose the hard knockdown but you can still get a good bit of damage in. When you have better timing on your mirage slashes to finish off longer combos, then you could try this one out which is a much better auto combo starter that does a bit more damage than the one we started off with. If you are able to execute this then congratulations, you have progressed in your Yosuke fundamentals. The bread and butter combo in the corner doesn't really change. One adjustment is that if you connect with a 5B, 5C, that you can add a sweep after the 2C because the opponent doesn't get pushed back because they're in the corner. Time to get spicy and throw in an enhanced move into the combo. Remember, you do not want to use meter to execute only super moves, especially if the opponent won't die. But you can use 25 SP to add in an enhanced move and that will allow you to get more damage in the combo while still securing the hard knockdown with Mirage Slash. This combo right here substitutes the regular dash spring command with the enhanced version which gives the added benefit of ground bouncing the opponent into the air. After that you can follow up with 3 moonsaults and then do the D version of the flying V cut. The small delay that the D version has is perfect for this combo since it allows you to catch the opponent right after the third moonsault and then you're going to want to delay the Mirage Slash just enough to catch the opponent just as they fall down and almost hit the ground but before they recover. Now, most smart opponents won't be jumping in on Yosuke regularly because his anti-air 2B is so good, but if you do catch an opponent jumping in at you with 2B or any other sort of anti-air option like standing jab or standing B, make sure that you put on the damage to further intimidate them from jumping in at all. For now, since we're not trying to get too crazy, keep it very simple. Simply cancel the anti-air into a jumping B, 
combo into the jumping AB, which sets the opponent up to jump cancel that move into the jumping C, directly into the flying V cut and Mirage Slash to reset pressure. There's some really cool stuff that you can do with enhanced kunai and whatnot off of these combos, but that's a bit more advanced. For counter hit combos on the ground, say you're punishing the opponent trying a DP that you were able to block or something like that, start off the combo with a counter hit 2C and immediately dash and then you can pretty much go into any combo that you want. Here you probably want to go into any meter combo if you have at least 25 SP to spend, but here's a basic one just so you get the idea. Now for the most important part of Yosuke's combos, the Sukukaja extension. When you are in awakening state and have access to the super move, you can tack on upwards of 2000 additional damage to any touch on the opponent. Pretty much any standard combos ending with Mirage Slash can be cancelled directly into Super Kaja, and then you can execute this additional piece as the ender. The commands seem daunting but believe me it is not as hard as it looks. After connecting a Mirage Slash immediately cancel the hit into Super Kaja, and then as soon as the animation of the install super ends, you want to link a 2C. It can be a little challenging at first, but once you get the timing down, you'll get it every time. And from there, you just hit light attack five times. Pretty easy. However, on the last light attack hit, Yosuke dives down from the air. What you want to do is, even though it may not seem intuitive, you have to cancel that hit into another Mirage Slash. The timing for this is also a bit wonky, but again, practice it and you'll get it memorized and it'll be easy. Sukukaja allows you to combo the Mirage Slash into Dash Spring, so do that, and then do the Flying V Cut going the other way after you bounce off the opponent, and then you can finish with the Super. It can be a bit tricky because even though you put the proper input for the Sukukaja ending Super, Garudine might still come out due to the side flip, but keep trying and see what works best for you to make sure that you get the Sukukaja ender since it's a free Super and doesn't cost additional meter. So this is where Yosuke gets pretty scary as a character. You can tack on the Sukukaja extension onto pretty much any combo. Here's an example of it with a throw. One touch and you can erase the opponent's health bar just like that as long as you're in awakened state. And here's one last combo. For those times where you're short on meter and you want to use your one more burst offensively, you can cancel any Mirage slash Ender with a one more burst and then Tack on this basic air combo ender, or really anything that you choose because you have a lot of time where the opponent falls down to the ground. Now that we've got the combos out of the way, the strategy with Yosuke is, like I said before, a bit non-traditional. You don't have the typical way to get in with ranged attacks, but you do have pretty cool keep away with the kunais. Yosuke is all about angles of approach. You want to make sure that you know exactly how you want to get in on the opponent, depending on what they're able to do to you from distance. Don't get me wrong though, jumping D is very straightforward and will take you a long way up the ranks, but smarter opponents will know how to counter it much better. Once you are in though, it doesn't matter how good the opponent is, Yosuke's buttons are very good and you can have a lot of advantage off of basic pressure with just light attacks, dashes, and tick grabs. You can stagger the opponent repeatedly in order to open them up and confirm a hit into decent damage. And once you finish off with that Mirage Slash, you've got them in the Cyclone. You can hop jump with the Jumping C that hits meaty, but remember, attacks over hops don't normally hit overhead. You can bait their Furious action to see if you can get a large punish going. You can just straight up restart the block string pressure and open them up again. You can cross over air attack them with Jumping B. Jumping B into Jumping AB is a pretty cool mix up where they may expect a low coming after the Jumping B that can open up a lot of opponents as well. And the world of other options, get creative with it, see what you can get away with, see what the opponent can be conditioned into respecting too much, and then capitalize on their mistakes. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get started with Yosuke. Good luck on the beginning to your Yosuke journey, and see you next time.